Hello, welcome to the Repuzzle channel. Today I will be showing you step-by-step -step instructions for the Beep Puzzle, the original 3D crystal puzzle, Eiffel Tower. Now this puzzle has no numbers on its pieces, so I will be showing you each piece, telling you a step number as well as displaying the number down in the corner, and then showing you where and how the piece goes on the puzzle. Uh, some of these pieces, there are multiples of the same piece, so I will tell you how many pieces to look for. Most of them have two to four pieces for each one. You can separate them now if you want, or just do it while we go through the video. And then hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have gotten the puzzle together for you. All right, let's get started. All right, step number one. We're going to start in the middle and work our way down. And then we're going to switch it up and work our way upwards. Um, so this is the first piece. It has the jagged edges on the side. It has four indents in the middle here. You flip it over. It has four sticking out and four going in. Step number two is this piece has two going in you flip it over it has two going out well with the two going out facing downward it's going to connect right here where the two are going in step number three is this piece it has two going in you flip it over has one going out and one going in with this side facing downward. It's going to connect on the left. Step number four is this piece. It has one going in and one going out. Flip it over. It has two going in with this side facing downward. It's going to connect at the top. Step number five is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has one going in, one going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect the bottom. Step number six is two pieces, both looking like this. It has this side with the indent right there. When you flip it over, it has one going in and one going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect one up at the top here and one at the bottom here. So it's going to go just like that. I'm going to take the other one and go down there. Step number seven is two pieces. There's two going out, you flip it over as the one going in, with this side facing upward, it's going to connect here and here. Step number eight is this piece, it has indents for where these parts are going to go, and another side with curved edges and four spots going in with this side facing upward it's going to connect over here but if you look there's some that are closer to the edge and some that are further from the edge the ones that are closer are going to go left to right so it connects just like that step number nine is two pieces it has one going in right there, you flip it over, it has one going out, and with this side facing downward, it's going to connect here and here. Step number 10 is this piece, it's one going in, you flip it over, it has one going out, with this side facing downward. It's going to connect here and here.
Step number 11 is four pieces. It has one going in. You flip it over. It has one going out. And it has this little notch out of the corner here. With the side facing downward, you're going to put one in each of the corners. Step number 12 is also four pieces. It has one going out on this side. You flip it over, it has one going in, kind of a curve right there. With this side facing upward, you're going to put one in each of the corners. You don't have to hold it like I am, I'm just doing it for the video so it's easier to see. It'll be easier to put it together if you leave it flat on a surface. Step number 13 is this piece. It has one going out. You flip it over. It has another one going out. With this side facing downward, you're going to put one in each corner. Step number 14 is another four pieces. It has one going in. You flip it over. It has another going in. This side facing downward. It's going to connect in each of the corners. Step number 15 is this piece. It has one going out. You flip it over, it has another going out with this side facing downward. It's going to connect the inside of all the four corners. Step number 16 is this piece. It has one going in. You flip it over. It has another going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the outside of all the four corners. Step number 17 is this piece. It has one going in. You flip it over. It's flat on the other side. And they're going to go on the inside of each leg. Step number 18 is the slightly smaller poles. And you're going to get one in each corner. And you're going to take your key and tighten them into place. Okay, now that we got all of them tightened, I'm going to flip it over and start on the inside. Step number 19 is this piece. It has one going out. You flip it over. It's just one big chunk sticking up on this side. With this one facing downward, it's going to go in all four corners. Step 
number 20. That's four more pieces. It's kind of flat. And it has one going in on this side. You flip it over, it has one going in on that side. With the angle going upward, like this. It's going to go in each of the corners. Step number 21 is this piece. It has one going out. You flip it over. It has another one going out. It's a lot wider. This side facing upward is going to connect the inside of all the corners. Step number 22 is four more pieces. It has one going in on this side. You flip it over. It has another one going in. With this one facing downward, it's going to go on the outside, all the corners. Step number 23, it's another four pieces. It has one going out, you flip it over, it's another one going out. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect on the inside of each leg. Step number 24 is another four pieces. It has one going in. You flip it over. It has another going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the outside of each leg. Step number 25 is another four pieces. It has one going out. Flip it over. It has another going out. This side facing downward is going to connect the middle of each piece. Step number 26 is another four pieces. There's one going in. Flip it over, it has another going in. The side facing downward, it's going to connect the middle. Step number 27 is another four pieces. It has one going out. You flip it over, it has one going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the outside of each piece. Step number 28 is this piece. It has four little parts sticking out. You flip it over, it has four going in. This piece is going to face downward and connect in the middle, holding all these pieces into place. Just like that. Step number 29 is this piece. has four holes in it, this little part sticking up here. On the other side, it has little indents. I'm just gonna line them up. Set it in place. 
step number 30 is going to be the longer poles. You're just going to drop them into place. You gotta take the key and tighten them. Step number 31, I'm gonna flip it upside down and take this and stick it through the middle. You just rotate it a little bit till these two parts sticking out on the sides go through. There is going to be holes to line up with that on the other side. Step 32 is going to be two pieces. The bigger corner pieces like this. You can see it has a little notch right there. That's going to line up with this. And both sides are just going to push together. And don't worry about that falling through, it's just going to end up staying once you get the top together. Step number 33 is the medium corner pieces. Same thing, it has a notch on the side. I'm gonna line it up. And that's going to keep this pole in place here. Step number 34 is the small corner pieces. I'm going to go together with this little part at the top here. Same way. Line up the corners and push it together. Just like that. And the last piece this top part and then it's just going to push into place at the top of the pole there and that's it so this is how it should look when it's finished if you have any suggestions of what i should put together next time let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching